Let's go home. Oh, jeez. A dark elf assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone? You're the ones intruding into their realm, really. <laughs> So there are still some Dark Elves around here. Did that hurt? A rage burst? Uh-oh. We need to get out of here. How do we open this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just knocked one in the head. Are you just standing there? Oh, there's one closer. I think I read in a loading tip earlier that... Okay, talk later. I read in a loading tip that if you use the Blades of Chaos on a frosted enemy, it does more damage. So I think the intent is we build up the status for one weapon and then we switch to the other one. That's how it's supposed to be maximally effective. Your son. Should we go look at that side? No, we shouldn't. Let's go, let's go. Oh, too far away, dang it. Oh, I can't see. Must be a status effect. This way. This way, right? Ah, uh, trypophobia hell. Let's keep moving. Oh, light elves, dark elves. They're all here. Oh, you. Dude! I'm getting lit up. Quite literally. They give me so much time for the shield strike, it's actually really nice. Oh, okay, just stand there then. 
Thanks. Oh yeah, Twilight Stones. Don't say that. We're coming. How did we do that thing before where we immediately stun the elf? Get it on the head? Does that apply for the dark elves? Whoa! Oh, we can keep it frozen if we leave the axe inside the guy. Did you see? It's actually quite cool. We can try it again. Right, and then like, I'll switch here. And he's stuck the whole time! Damn. What, what's happening over there? Yeah. I don't know what that square was. Was that Atreus doing something? Oh, you all left me. I'm the only dummy staying back here. How the hell did you guys- Oh, because the bridge fell. Uh, see you guys elsewhere. Uh, Tripophobia Central. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. It's all at war again. Tear. We open the gateway, please. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Should we have a look this way? Son, do you want to look? We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. What I'm worried about is... Look, I know we can't trust prophecy. But I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Kratos. Good. Yeah, lead the way. What does that mean? I think Kratos bears some blame that his son thinks it's unbelievable that his father would actually do what he wants to do. <laughs> what Atreus wants to do. Like, that's... that's not great. Skills. I haven't unlocked anything new, but Atreus. Atreus. Sonic Echoes. Bigger Reverberations. Dive into battle. Completing a father and son combo triggers a prompt allowing Atreus to use a powerful rope grapple finish. Finisher. Sure. I can... I got the gold for freezing throw. Damage. Higher damage. Stun. Damage. Now that I can't unlock anything new yet, I should be using my XP like this. It's basically telling me, hey, do more of these skills, please. We should be able to reach the barons up top once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. We had to do it all in a row, right? I remember. Didn't we do it just now? But did it mean anything on that side? 
Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. <laughs> they would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. But not because of anything like, no, they're too precious to do this to. It's just for practicality reasons. Hail, fellow travelers. Nice injury. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Sindri being an Alfheim, is that even okay? Because, you know, the whole thing about Brock and the souls. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. <laughs> but I want to know too. <clears throat> we started a whole bunch of favors just now. Treasure maps and looking for the creature. We have a map. Oh, upgrade for the Leviathan Axe. Oh, we got a flame. Cool. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Sweet. Chaos, Flame, and Frozen Flame. I don't have to choose. They let me know when they want me to upgrade. Which probably means we can also upgrade some skills as well, right? Shield? Shield Attachment, Rond of Aggravation. High luck, chance to grant a Rage Burst when parrying. I don't parry. Wait, Shield... Attachment. I can add stuff on my shield. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I have it equipped right now. Oh, oh, okay. I see. Okay, the Ron stuff are attachments. Well, I don't parry. I don't parry with a stone wall shield, so that's useless. We'll do that. Ron of Expedition. Blessing of cooldown when interrupting double ring attacks. Or parrying. Sweet. So really, I still have the two shields. That's it. Okay. Well, I quite like... Yeah, I I'll craft this though, because I want to um, make sure we can use it whenever we want to. Cool. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. Yeah, I'll use this one for now. <gasps> Thank you. And then we also have skills. Yeah, look at that. Frozen Lance. R2 during Frost Awaken. Looking at the animation there. High damage can break enemies' guard. Glacial Permafrost. While Permafrost is full. L1 and Triangle. Vengeful Sickle. Returning Whirlwind. L1, R1 while barehanded to quickly recall the axe and do a spinning attack. Whirlwind Sweep. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any Leviathan axe attack. Once in a new stance, R1, R1, R1. Lots of stuff for us to try. Let's see. Ah, recalling? You see that? That's nice. That is nice. Well, thank you, Sindri. Oh, not this again. Not this again. Okay, that's a good spot. I just gotta wait for it to come back again. Thank you. What's going on with the graffiti here? What on earth is that? Like an anteater horse thing? Whoa! 
Uh. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. They want to help us? Because the place is big? Okay, I suppose. The secrets of the sand. We can track this one. Although I don't even use the compass like at all. <laughs> Pain creature. Okay. Let's look for it. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated gulag. Most unusual. No! The barrels! Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Oh, excuse me. The creature is pretty close by. Does Atreus have some supernatural hearing? We didn't hear anything before, right? And he was like, Whoa, what was that? And having heard it in this desert storm, frankly, is kind of amazing, too. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? There's a hole in the ground. Is that a cave? I mean, it's right here. I think it's right here. Oh, wait, we went past it. But there's a there's a thing here. There's like a... Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us. I need you to stop because we can't get this thing. Thank you. Raven again. Can we go in here? I thought I heard somebody. Hi. Look, he's just stuck! Ow! Oh! Okay, I'm looking at that plaque now, and I feel like I might have missed one earlier. Like, I remember seeing one, but I don't remember reading it. Maybe we'll come back eventually. That's fine. Oh, I should have done that retrieving axe thing. That looks like it hurts. It did hurt. I can't see any warnings like this. Damn, you're so aggressive. Oh, they're little things. So annoying. Dude, I'm dying actually. Whoa, dude! Oh my god! Oh, he was so close to dying! Maybe I should go in from here? What? It just bounced off of him! Get away from me, weirdo freak. Oh, he knows how to get away from me, too. That's annoying. This guy has so much health. 
Dude, it's so annoying how the things explode later. They don't explode right away. Because when they explode later, it doesn't give me a warning and I forget that it explodes. Hurry up and die. Dark Elf Lord. The largest and strongest of the Dark Elves we faced. Lords weaponize light and use it to temporarily blind their enemies before landing a devastating attack on them, as if they couldn't simply crush their skull on their own. Perhaps the tactic makes the deaths of their enemies more humane. <laughs> Terribly strong, with the thickest available armor. You'll need to track when they've finished out an attack sequence that leaves them open to countering. Using magical and elemental attacks to freeze or otherwise weaken them will prevent them from recovering in mid-air once launched or disrupted. Dark Elf. Seldom does power come without cost. Alfheim's desert wasn't always a storming and barren wasteland. No. Before the temple was built, the desert was teeming with life. Now the light-deprived elves of the barrens wage constant war upon their counterparts in the light well. In their eyes, the Lake of Souls is not theirs to use. How could one blame them? They watched their home waste away as their cousins grew powerful. Dark elves prefer a tactic of swarming you as a group, disrupt their efforts with heavy hits and parries. They may recover in the air from being launched, but not if you launch them once frosted. Mmm, they're scared of frost. Dark Elf Warrior. A bit tougher than most Dark Elves, these warriors spend their time training and executing routines to the most efficient and deadly extent. As with most Dark Elves, flight remains an important part of their strategy. Should they attack, the sooner we can ground them, the sooner we can get the upper hand. Their charge attacks cause temporary blindness, which I know you especially hate. Yes, I do. They are much easier to kill when grounded, Trip them up if you have the chance. Summoner. Summoners possess the unique ability to call in reinforcements at a moment's notice. Oh my gosh. Not that cooperation is a particularly novel concept. If anything, it's one of the more effective strategies out there, as overwhelming an enemy can be the quickest way to victory. As such, summoners should be taken down as soon as we spot them, so as to prevent them from fulfilling their duties. The problem is, in the heat of battle, I'm not looking at what thing, like, what kind of creature that is. What's that? A diagram. Oh. For a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. Lost pages. Four. Torn from an ancient tome, the pages contain diagrams of a long-forgotten sword hilts. Gauntlets of Radiance. Level 4. Strength is better than what I have right now, but no vitality. Hmm. We could try it just to try it out. But we do have the... Um... Yeah, okay. Wait, how much of a difference does a vitality make? 6 HP. Okay, it's not that big of a deal then. All right. Is that it for here? A horn. Tributes to Freyr. Horn. Not to be confused with Gallarhorn. This piece symbolizes peace, or at least Freyr's hopes for peace. It was said, amongst the more easily excitable of the elves, that one day Freyr would blow the Horn of Quiet, and in doing so, bring an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn, and as far as I can tell, no such item exists. But that didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. They give the horn as a tribute to Freyr because they want the horn themselves. A peace horn. Hmm. The tower's purpose. Though it now serves as a military outpost, this tower's architecture indicates a different function in the time before the division of light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual. Many of the texts within have been sanitized across generations. 
but the very absence of any information is telling in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held here? So inimical to our current status quo that the librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose. I can't help but assume the answer is key to a lasting peace. The Consul. This tower? It's broken now. Even if we learn what the actual purpose was, maybe the tower can't do the thing anymore. Yeah, it's like half broken. All right. If we look on the map... Oh. Hmm. Go back to near the beginning, sure. Ah, oh, there's a barrel here. Gotta get the barrels. So much sand. I don't think we're getting through that gate in the storm. Wait, what's here? Oh, we can't do anything about this. Okay. <gasps> Again, signs that we shouldn't explore this place too early, but they opened it up to us. I've gotta. I've gotta. What do we have here? Your undiscovered thing. I'm circling it. It's on the hill. Can we get on the hill? Not getting up there with all this sand in your way. The answer is no. Maybe let's focus on the creature for now then. At least this one's actually marked on the map. Like we know we can't find it for now. Well... Oh, come on! It's easier to get it myself. Is there something right here? A chest that I can't... treasure chest! Damn this sand! Can't get it. Oh, come on! Please! That's a lot of dark elf bramble stuff in front of us. Don't know if we can get through that. Ew. So that, that was a tower. And then Atreus, your creature. This is a gigantic skeleton. Ew. Ew. Can we get in through the mouth? What kind of creature was this? Treasure map. Vulture's gold. Okay. I think I hear a raven. Lethal detonation. Unstable gemstone craving death and destruction. Is that for Atreus? Oh, sweet. Yeah, he can have three. Enemies killed from a runic arrow explode. There's definitely a raven here. Yeah. That's a fair few bugs you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the raven tree. Maybe when we go back? Well, I don't think this is the way to get in. Thank you for coming over here, by the way. So convenient. That's it for now. We gotta go back closer. It's not that big of a desert. Okay sized. Once the sand clears up, we can come back. Does that basically imply that we'll be able to get rid of the sand? Yes. 
Does that mean that we can stop Thimblewinter? It could mean that. Thanks. Okay, back to your creature then. Oh, forget about the barrels. We've got to come back here again anyway. <laughs> well, if it's along the way... I can probably break this one. Oh, there's ones behind it too. Um, do I have to get the last one and then call it back, maybe? Not quite the right angle. Close enough, but not quite. Like, we might be able to do it fast enough if we cheese it. But is that the right way to do it? No, there's gotta be an easier way. Like if we go in or something. Can I stand on top of this? Can I look at it from another angle? Atreus, get that! Why can't you get that, Atreus? Why are you a useless son? <laughs> Here? No. It, it's not quite lining up. Not quite. It has to be one throw. It cannot be multiple throws. I can only get two maximum in one throw. Okay. Ooh. Your creature. Your creature is in this hole? Look! There's a cave entrance! Your creature is in this hole. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, 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 ew. I don't want to look at the wall. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining out of the bard from the temple. <sighs> Great. There's a weird carving again. Some horse anteater creature. Thank you. I like the light elves' aesthetic way more. I hate this like triple phobia stuff. Not making a good first impression on me, guys. Thank you. You can do this, right? I know you can. Fantastic. I'm here, I'm here. Help me out, help me out. Does that mean that this creature... Hey, maybe it's the one that we've been seeing in the graffiti, huh? Is this creature part of the Dark Elves then? Am I sort of intruding on them here? Order! 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Atreus, please stun. You know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfarm, can you really blame them? Well, I'm glad you're starting to realize that. Where do I want this to go? This is... It's in the linear thing, but... Oh, hold on. Up here, maybe? Here? Thank you very much. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. Oh. Wall art. Oh, that's just... What? Rune reads... Patience. Found deep within a dark elf cave. They must use these as outposts to launch raids on the temple. A useful spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. Be patient, they tell themselves every day. One day they'll get their comeuppance. There's more going on up there. Mm-hmm, so we have that. Just one? Just one? Probably have to open the gate first, somehow. Water, fish. We're in a desert! Oh, now we're inside the hole. The big hole. Yeah. The creature you had. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Nornir chests, I don't know about all the collectibles, but I feel like I'll definitely come back to those ones because they give important upgrades. That one just now, I'm not sure if we could have gotten it. Didn't seem like we could have opened the gate. <laughs> Maybe once we wrap back around. Interesting angle. Not interesting trypophobia. up. Yeah, that's just not open. Can we throw an axe while we're on the wall? I don't think so. We have to be on this side then. The angle seems very wrong. Oh. Oh, now we're on the other side. Right? Quit it! Ow! Don't touch my son. Careful, Atreus.
You can only open it from one side. Okay. So we have that. We have this one. Where is the third one? It has to be nearby. You can't do it if it's not near. Okay. That's that. I did find the last one. It's right there. And you can't get it from the back. It only works from one side. So I think we probably have to open this gate, which might be related to... going past here. Hoping anyway. Never been this interested before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want too. Kratos, look at you. He's in disbelief that you'd take any interest in the things that he likes. But hey, it's changing. That's a good thing. Not good to make mistakes, but even worse to not fix them. Alright. That's kind of an awkward angle though. Can I get all three at once? This seems kind of... Like, oh god, I already messed up. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Oh! Hmm, I guess the timing wasn't that strict. I thought we had to do it, like, pretty much immediately. Well, good. Thank you. Hmm? And then I think we could have gone down... the path here? Alright. Oh, not this again. Oh, it's... Okay. Get him. Oh! That's not good. We have multiple people here. Oh, not this again. Not this again. Oh! If we can get some of the smaller guys away first, I think that would be ideal. Oh! Good lord! Still standing, yeah? <laughs> Barely! Hold up! Hold up! Oh! That wasn't it! Oh, I thought you gave me a health. Oh, the darkness really makes things Are you difficult. Sure we're doing the right thing. If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no, I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there, I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr; they're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes, getting involved where we shouldn't. Gears are spinning in Atreus' head, you can tell. Keep thinking. Keep thinking. But like one of the journal entries said, I think. we can only ever really take our own position 
In the elven conflict, we don't get to decide what's right, what's wrong. If it's our, if it's in our path that we have to go through it and kill a bunch of elves, then that's the position that we decide to take. Do you want me to use some- oh, hello. Hello. Got a nice big- oh. Sorry, Atreus. Didn't give you very much warning there. There we go. Good. What kind of animal are we expecting? That weird horse creature on the graffiti wall. Uh, the graffiti on the wall. Still gotta try out that whole recalling axe thing. Oh! <laughs> That's a little bit overkill. These things smell awful. Oh! Kill him! Any more wretches want to be part of my experiments here? Alright. Wait. Is this one in the same string? I don't even know how I got that last one, but sure, okay. I'm expecting wretches to come out. Where do we want to use that? Hmm, okay. If we do that, we get two of them. But we want the third one as well, so that's probably not gonna work. Well, I'll, I'll try it anyway. No, grows back way too fast. So it's gotta be with this thingy. Actually, maybe the angle before was right. <laughs> I can't really change it now. Like that? Uh, I was hoping you would go the other way. Can I go up in elevation? No, I pretty much can only stand here. But if it's like that, I can't really... Or maybe that one's just there, but I start... I start here. No, that ends up going to the end, so that's probably not it. But I don't see any other position working out. Because if it's like that, it's not going to hit anything. Do we have to do this from another angle somewhere? Look there. That bomb should help us out. Just saw it. It's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine, we wind up hurting Dark Hill? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. It's actually kind of sad how hard Atreus denies this, because there's a very logical conclusion, but he can't even bear to come to it. Hmm. Wow. Sometimes it's hard to see how that would work out. I just gotta hope it does. Okay, this is a little bit more promising of an angle. Is it the best? Maybe not. Better than before. There we go. It does a little bounce. Uh. Good. Oh, 
Oh, explode on me, why don't you? Actually, I don't have very much health, so I'd prefer it if you didn't do that. Oh! Thank you, Atreus. Man, we better have a nice long meal after going home after this. <gasps> they didn't even hit it! It's down! So am I! I'm gonna die soon! I gotta use Atreus' arrows more. Oh, still more? Wait, is that a nest? That's a damn nest! Oh! I'm <laughs> just going Spartan next to it. Destroyed it. Oh, I don't like how everything... Trypophobia everywhere, on the ceilings, on the walls, trying to avoid it. Don't look that way, don't look this way. Oh! Wow! Found it. Uh, oh! What is it? Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Oh. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. Lunch? What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... <laughs> oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. But we can all be Diener's. Okay, does that mean that if we save this dude, then the storm will stop? Gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Yes, son. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Maybe I do want to lower the the frequency a little bit of the puzzle hints. Sometimes I do want to look around a little bit. Oh, there's a. There we go. And then now what? We gotta start from somewhere. Oh, there's a reflective rock right behind it. Mm. Oh. Probably gotta get it reflecting the right way. Oh. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Like what? Break the ground more? Open the hive cage on the surface. Be free, little jellyfish. Why did they trap it down here? Hafgifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> no. Then let us free it. It's very confusing for him because we have been implicitly telling him that hey, last time we were here, we kind of messed with the dark elves and that's a bad thing. And now we're actively doing something that also seems to be har harming the dark elves again. And it's just like, where is the distinction? Where do we draw the line? Just based off what's convenient to us? And the answer is, well, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. Oh dear, dead elves. Big chest. Wow. 
whispering slab. I can't go up there. Chest armor. Beautifully crafted armor. It is better than what I have right now. Do it. Oh, just one? Hello, how convenient. Where are we? Right, so you wanna... You wanna go back there, right? Getting a little bit turned around, there's all sorts of places here. It would be nice if we can stop the sand. This is the spot! We can cut the half goofa loose here. It wasn't even in water, it was floating in the sand, huh? You're welcome. Oh! It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Whoa, whoa. Look, father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Oh, that's sweet. Let's let's learn to be a good father and son from now on. It's gonna take some work, but if we both put in a little bit of work, hopefully it'll be fine. Hafkvam! We have discovered that the source of the sandstorm in the Barrens was a creature Mimir calls a Hafkvam. I encountered something like this as a boy, but it was a much smaller sea creature that did not fly. Now that the storm has subsided, we can explore the desert freely and collect resources. To the west, we can see another sandstorm, likely caused by another Hafkva. We should ease this creature's pain when the time is right. Another one? Really? I don't see another one. Or uh, I guess we can check out these places. Or right, this one, really. Yeah. Storm's gone. Is that... Oh, it's just gonna be... Oh, wow. It's a jellyfish, except not in the water. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. 